Okay, I'm at Lava Beds National Monument. I'm in Catacombs Cave, also known as the Catacombs. It's the largest cave, or longest cave, in this place. It's got over 6,000 feet of passage. Um, so uh, to do the video, I'm just not, uh, I'm doing it in pieces. So this piece, a couple of other pieces, I'm gonna start here at the, the ladder, or the stairs, which is roughly in the middle. Now, generally speaking, I'm gonna go to the right, but up the stairs is a dead end, depending on how brave you are. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go up these stairs. Notice before the stairs were in, there were um, rock walkway. I have no idea why they put in metal stairs. That rock walkway doesn't look that bad, but oh well, maybe I'm braver than the average spelunker. Anyway, what's weird, look at this. It's a huge patch of white stuff there. I should ask them, okay, is that white nose syndrome or what? <laughs> I have no idea. It doesn't look familiar at all. It looks like some kind of mold grew. But it's weird that it's one spot. It's like somebody dumped some food there and the food grew mold or something creepy like that. But yeah, I have no idea. So this chamber has two names. One is the boxing glove chamber. I forgot the other name. Notice how smooth the floor is here, except where it collapsed. I know, I know, that's like saying, look how smooth the road is, except for that big pothole. But it's true. <laughs> it may sound silly, but it's true. The ceiling is relatively smooth, too. I mean, it's curved, but it doesn't have huge stalactites. Okay, so down there, that's the lower level. That's where I'm going in about 10 minutes. So, but before I go down there, let's see if I can... Uh, so notice, weird, the floor here is mud. I mean, there, there's, there's rock and then mud on top. Obviously, it's mostly rock, it's a lava too. Interesting patch of junk there. Nice little arch shape. It's only three feet tall, so I'm gonna hunch down here. Excuse me. I only have three hours of memory card left on this camera, so, and it has to last today and tomorrow, so. I'm gonna see if I can hurry and finish this whole cave in three hours. And if that's the case, well, I guess I'm done with this camera for tomorrow. So look at how three-dimensional it is. See, there's a flat floor here, and then there's a ledge up there. Now, I'm not gonna try to get up there. I can't even fit up there anyway. It's obviously a dead end, but still, wow. You could crawl back there maybe 15 feet. But it's obviously a dead end. There's that cool archway I came through. It's weird how on both sides, the cave is maybe eight feet tall. And then there's that one little lower arch. I don't know what's so special about that one spot that it came down. Now ahead, it's interesting. I already did this once today with the other camera. So still fresh in my mind. Oh no, I'm thinking of a different, oh never mind. <laughs> okay, this is a dead end. Okay, there, you see? I'm done out here. So, I just popped my knee, leaned on it funny. Okay. I have knee pads, but still, that doesn't make my knees any stronger. So, I should still be careful not to put too much weight on them for too long. Pulverize the poor things. Okay, so this is um, has two names. The boxing glove chamber. There's another one. See, um, well, they put a fence around it for safety reasons. Because you might not notice. Oh, by the way, it's a 15-foot drop. Now, that's not a dead end down there. If you did manage to climb down there alive, you could crawl out another way. But the thing is, if you fell down an accident... I suspect that would be a somewhat painful injury. Of course, an expert spelunker could probably climb down there. That would not be me. Especially since there's another way around. There's no point in going the hard way if there's an easy way. I'm not being lazy, I'm being safe. Whoa. Yeah, even if I drop something down there, I'd, I'd still walk around the long way to go get it. There's just no point. <laughs> taking an unnecessary risk. 
but you can see about four feet in diameter. So you couldn't just wedge yourself in there, like in, you know, the matrix when they were hiding in the walls. It's too big for that. You got a few people together with rope or a ladder. I definitely want to come in here with a ladder. <laughs> anyway, speaking of ladder, here we go. Notice this nice steel ladder. It's very sturdy. I don't even use the handrails. I probably should, but I got my hands full. Okay, so there's the upper end of the tube. That's the way I came. I already got that in a video yesterday. Now to get down to the lower level, not this level, an even lower level, I'm going to turn left and there's a way down there. Now, like I said, in this video, I've been trying to stay to the right, but I'm sort of going out of order here uh, because I picked, well, this whole cave is not a simple shape. It's a big, very complicated shape. Well, so long story short, I can't just stay to the right all the time, but. See, look at that, there's another way over there. If I just stay to the right all the time, I'd end up going in circles. Okay, so that's the way to the lower end and the upper level, and I already did that. So I basically, I came back up this way yesterday, but I skipped this. <laughs> Look at the rough spot here on the floor, um, like it was part of the ceiling. Same here, it's rough, rafted rocks, welded rock. Anyway, okay, so this is a four-way intersection. I can go straight across, that's a dead end. I can go to the left, that's not a dead end, it'll loop around. That'll go underneath that boxing glove chamber I just showed you. And then, over here to the right, that's kind of sort of a dead end. The reason I say kind of sort of is because it's not a dead end. But the connections are really, really, really hard. So, yeah. It's kind of like if you're driving a two-wheel drive car, you know, and you're on a Jeep trail. Yeah, that Jeep trail's a dead end. <laughs> well, Okay, so let me have a quick look around first. That's where I'm gonna go, because I'm gonna stay to the right. This is, well, this is where I just came down. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go back that way or not. I'll think about it. This is the way to go underneath the boxing glove chamber, and this will reconnect to the upper end of the cave and the entrance. And then over here, there's another level. It's a dead end, and then, there's yet another level. I forgot if that's a dead end or not. I'll check it out when I get up there. So, so I, um, some people find a cave like this confusing because it's a big 3D maze. But if you just think about, okay, I'm still walking on the floor. The floor is a two-dimensional surface. I'm not floating around like a ghost. So if you just think of the floor, it becomes a lot simpler. Except if you pay attention to the walls and the ceiling, it helps you navigate. Okay, now one thing about this part of the cave, it's tricky and it keeps getting harder and harder. So I'm gonna do my best, but I can't promise it's gonna be pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do after taking off my backpack, of course, oops, I'm gonna put my gloves on. So that way I can crawl with 